It's a great pe pleasure to have Takashi here. He's, uh, he's making a, a huge work on learning patterns and other kind of patterns involving humans. Uh, and it's really a pleasure to have this talk in the blog. So please welcome Takashi. Thank you. It's a great honor to be here to give a talk at the club because um, I like uh, very much the uh, club community. So this is the first time to give a talk in the club. So um, today I want to talk about uh, pattern language 3.0. This is a pattern, la um, the pattern language for human actions. So this is a little difference from the architectural patterns and also software patterns. So I want to know I want to share the idea about pattern language for human actions with you. Okay, so um, today's talk, I want to share um, the idea of the potential domains of the pattern languages, and also that is the potentiality of pattern writers like you. You, you are a writer of, of, of the pattern language, so maybe the potential domains, new domain, is a, a new contribution domain of you in the future. And uh, also, um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, um, that uh, pattern language potentially saves the world. That is a big uh, talk, a big story, but uh, a little bit, um, I want to talk a little bit in the last of the, the talk. So, what is this? This is my name, so in the <laughs> Japanese character. So, Takashi, my, my name is Takashiba, and uh, here is uh, my uh, information about me a little bit. And I was born in 1974 in Japan, and a researcher, and as a job, I'm teaching at the university as a uh, associate professor, and also I am a PhD in media, media and governance. That is, sounds strange for you, maybe, but uh, um, my PhD, and uh, I was um, a visiting scholar at MIT Center for Collective Intelligence, so um, I'm related to the um, web community, and also the um, complex system science software. Um, this is a superficial introduction about me. So at the, at the beginning of the, um, this talk, uh, I want to uh, introduce, by, um, introduce myself a little bit more, um, because this is the first time to talk, uh, talk about myself to you in this community. So when I was a junior high school student, I loved the Star Wars. I'm really fascinated in the um, Return of the Jedi. In the, I, I watched the, this film in the theater. And I, uh, because I really love it, so I bought a book about how to make it. So I like to read this book because um, the, the future image and also the, um, the space opera, um, I want to know how to make it. So I like uh, ma making a story of the film. So I bought this book and I decided and to become be, become a filmmaker in the future when I was a junior high school student. And at that time, I, I didn't imagine that the one of the Jedi Master is here in the prop conference. Joe, uh, he's here. Oh, it's amazing. So just uh, say always that make the force be with you. But uh, be, be careful, the false meaning the flies the from his heart. So, so the, but that's the key for the Jedi Masters and also the key for the pattern writers. Okay, anyway. And um, when I was a high school student, I loved Back to the Future as a film. And uh, uh, because I like very much, so I made a parody, parody film um, um, and uh, Back to the Future. So the, uh, when I was a high school student, we, we could not the drive, the car, so the time machine DeLorean is a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I attach the firework in the, and, uh, to the bicycle and, and attach the fires like that. So this is a very funny experience for me. <laughs> so I still um, decided to become a filmmaker in the future. And then after the entire the university, uh, I made a film and I made a video for the, uh, some kind of events in the uh, festival in the university. Um, for, for example, the sharing idea of the environmental issues or some kind of 
opening video and the opening um, ending video like that. But in that time, um, I met one book that changed my life. This is a book. Do you know this book? The title The Missing Piece by the show Shilbastai. This is a picture book like that. So the picture is done in the abstract way, just a very simple but abstract, but uh, I fascinated in the story of this book. And in, in at that time the age is the multimedia, multimedia. <laughs> So the video sounds and a lot of interactions is um, important in that age. So I'm 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 think I will be a, become a multimedia creator or visual maker, filmmaker like that. But I know that this kind of abstract representation can change my life at that time. So I draw the picture book like that. And the motif of the um, silver stains is a shape, and I draw the picture book about the colors. Colors. So I, I draw this picture with a um, mouse, mouse on the Photoshop version 2.0 or 2.5, the ancient day. <laughs> and I put this um, picture book on the online in the mosaic. As you know, and uh, in 1994, very early days in the World Wide Web. So I got uh, a lot of feedback from the, uh, in, uh, via the internet, so I'm really um, interested in the, what's going on in the future. So um, I'm interested in that I play a lot of, on the web. Then um, I learned from the, my experience the power of abstraction, the power of abstraction. The abstract, uh, abstract representation um, can broaden the imagination and also the, um, enhance and activate the communication. So that's my first experience in the, that changed my life. So again, the power of abstraction, the abstract way of representation can broaden the imagination and activate communication. So that's why I decided to Enter to go to the graduate school to study the system theory and modeling and the pattern languages. Okay, so um, when I was uh, back to the um, college days, uh, when I was a post grad um, before the um, job hunting or going to the um, graduate school, um, I met uh, two books. One is uh, Artificial Life by written by Stephen Levy, and also. The another book is Complexity, written by the Mitchell Warlock. The Complexity is uh, about the documentary about the Santa Fe Institute, who um, study in the complex system interdisciplinary way. So after that, in the next year, I wrote a book about uh, complex systems in Japan, Japanese. Um, my friends, uh, the younger friends, and uh, Yoshihisa and I wrote a book. Uh, about the complex system in 1998. So um, when I was a master course student, so I, that, that was pretty um, famous in Japan. And this is a, my PhD thesis about uh, um, the study on the simulating economy and the society as evolutionary complex systems. So my major, uh, my topic is uh, of the PhD thesis is about the Asian-based social simulation. That is a multi-agent modeling of the social phenomena like an economy, market, or social dilemma, or social networking like that. So we made a uh, computer simulation to understanding the society and economy better. Okay. So um, this, uh, we, we, my my um, friends and I developed the new tools and new methodology to make it, to design an <coughs> agent-based social simulation model. Um, so we. The, the software we developed is like that, the Platbox Simulator and the Component Builder. The Platbox Simulator is a software to execute the social simulations that is implemented in Java. And also the Component Builder is a um, plugin for the e Eclipse environment um, to make a model. So these tools are very amazing because you don't need uh, like, uh, any source code in primitive 
um, computer language for making the um, agent-based social simulations. So, um, so this is a, a, one of the uh, application the model driven development and the engine simulation simulations. So it is possible because um, we define the model framework, object oriented frameworks like that. So agent has uh, goods or information and the relation with others and the uh, behaviors. So this is a behavior is a, a kind of a strategy patterns of design and defined in the um, pattern and design patterns. And so the agent can change the behavior over time in the simulation. So the, that is a very important concept in the complex systems because uh, um, the agent or component can change the um, behavior and action over time. So like that. So and the, we use the UML, Unified Modeling Language, for describing the diagram and the class diagrams, also the state transition. But uh, UML doesn't um, didn't define the action um, description method for action. So we define the action parts for designing the agent parts, uh, agent actions. So we define more than two, 200, okay, the, the, we define two and 281 action parts. So with using this, these action parts, you can make any kind of social simulations like a financial market or market, a consumer market, also the social dilemma and making a network or a kind of information spreading on the, like a water, water mouse, like that. So this is my first analysis of the behavior and actions of the humans and also the organizations. So this is just a part of the component parts of the, um, this to describe the action of an agent. So with using tools and methods, you can, the modeler can um, make a model um, the, um, without, the, without, without um, doing the programming in the programming language. But this is not enough for the modelers to design the um, new models because if you are if you are newcomer to this area, mm -hmm. so something is missing. So I need to describe. I needed to describe the task knowledge for designing the model as a pattern language. So this is my that is my first encounter um, uh, encounter into pattern language. So. In my PhD thesis, and, uh, one of the appendix describes uh, model patterns, that is a pattern language for agent-based social modeling. At that time, I didn't know that um, Christopher Alexander's book, I, I just know about uh, design patterns in software domain. So after that, I became to know the Alexander's original idea about that, but in, at that time, I know just uh, design patterns in software domain. Okay, that's uh, about uh, PhD thesis, and after that, I realized the limitation of my approach um, that taken in my PhD thesis. So I feel something is missing. There is uh, interactions in the models and the computers, but the life is missing, or in general terms, the general generativity is missing in my model and uh, my approach. That, that is because of qualitative approach and also the computational model. Um, it, it can be one of the description, uh, representation of a society or interaction of the humans, but uh, the life or generativity is missing. So I studied to study, and as a, as a professor, as a assistant, assistant professor since uh, uh, 2004, um, I studied social system theory. That is a, one of the orthopoetic system theory in the, in the sociology. And also, um, I learned to the Alexander. Uh, I studied Alexander's book um, for understanding the more deeper understanding of the patterns, also the society, and the hidden connection to the society and life. And uh, to, uh, in the 2004, one of my students wanted to, and, uh, to write a graduation thesis about uh, facilitation patterns. So he has the experience to facilitate the, um, facilitate the class 
for the experimental learning in high school, but he wants to describe his knowledge in any way. So he wrote, uh, he read, he read my PhD thesis. Oh, oh, this is a it's a suitable way to describe the facilitation knowledge as a pattern language. So please teach me. So at that time, I my I don't have I didn't have any good um, knowledge about the Alexander. So we tried to read um, a lot about the Alexander's book. And, and the next year, uh, no, no, the 2007, um, this is the, my first experience in club in the Alaton house. At that time, I didn't submit any papers, just uh, participate in the community and look what's going on in this community. So I met uh, Mitchell Gabriel and also the Joe Yoda and the Bob Hammer or, or the members of Christian Coles in, in this community. So next year, we submitted the paper, two papers. One is the project pattern, that is pattern language for promoting the um, project. And another one is uh, research patterns. This is a pattern language for making uh, academic research. But um, these patterns, patterns language, pattern language is made, was made um, by my student. I'm just an advisor, mentor for them. So after that, in 1998, I, uh, I and my student in my laboratory made the learning patterns. So this is my first um, pattern language I, 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 I do my best to make the pattern language. So and the one, this is you, one of the book you have is the learning patterns. So please um, look this one later and after the talk if you like. So this is a pattern language for um, the creative learning. Okay. Then um, last year we submitted a paper about pedagogical patterns for creative learning, and also the, this year's book, Europe Club, we presented the presentation patterns. Presentation pattern is also in your hands. And uh, this club, we we are doing the new one, new book about the new pattern language named uh, Generative Beauty Patterns. It is described for the, um, how to design your life, and it, um, including the inner beauty, or also the make ener energetic, more ener energetic or more creative, like that. So this is a new pattern language. And also the one of, uh, two of them, our, my students, Eddie and Suji, made uh, change-making patterns. So, and the book is here in your hands, like this. So I'm interested in the system cell. My, my background is system cell and modeling in the pattern language. And I believe that abstracted way of the representation can broaden the imagination and also the activated communication. So I, um, we, uh, I want to summarize for the experience so far is uh, to liking a pattern language for human actions. So today I want to share um, what I learned from that, my experience from that. Okay, so today I want to share